Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How's it going? It's been a hot minute and I've been so busy and I am so sorry that I haven't posted any videos, but I'm here today to bring you guys a haul. Um, this is a collective haul. Um, some of the stuff I did get on uh, like Black Friday and stuff and I've just been like honestly wandering around shopping for makeup obviously per usual <laughs> and um so i wanted to show you guys what i got because i got a whole bunch of stuff that i have like never tried before so it's not necessarily new stuff but like it's new to me and i was excited about it so i thought i would come on here and show you guys what i got so if you want to see all the interesting things that i got just keep watching okay so some of this stuff um well, a lot of this stuff comes from Macy's at different counters because um, that's why I work. I work in a Macy's in the beauty department, obviously. And so um, a lot of the stuff I've got for different counters. Um, I have one item from, I think, Marshalls, but I'm pretty sure the rest of it is um, predominantly um, Macy's. But I'll tell you, like, which counters I went to to get. So what, the first brand, I'm just, I think I'm just going to do it by, like, counter, I guess counter not brand because some of it is different brands at the same counter so so the first yeah, counter we're starting off with is the MAC counter I haven't bought anything from MAC in so long like so ever since so, the whole so like long. liquid lip sync uh lip liquid lip stick thing started being like a thing I think I actually stopped buying actual like lipstick in the tubes where and I was predominantly getting those from MAC so I don't know I just haven't shopped there in a hot minute but I did pick up some stuff um on Black Friday. So the first thing that I got was one of their Nutcracker Sweet um, Compacts. This is the Copper Face Compact with the Whisper of Guilt in it. And I missed out on Whisper of Guilt when it came out last season, so best believe I was not missing out on it this season. And it comes in this pretty little Christmassy box. And then it has the compact that's like identical. And then you just open it up. And you get this girl right here, already blinding me, not even on my face yet. And so pretty. And it comes with this blush. I've honestly already swatched it, but I'll swatch it for you guys. And there's the blush, which is so pretty, so natural. And the actual whisper of guilt, which I know I'm going to bathe myself in, because good lord. Ah. Uh. I cannot. I literally... Does anyone else see this? Like, holy crap. This is too much. I can't. It's so nice. And it's so soft. Which I look for in products because usually soft means blendable. So, really excited about that. Um, I can't say no to a good highlighter. I ha I own so many highlighters, it's honestly stupid, and the majority of them are gold. And it's like, how many gold highlighters can you have? Well, so the next enough. things I got from MAC are pigments. Um, I got three little pigments because they have like a mini MAC like little display at Macy's. And usually the pigments are like $15, but they were five. So I got three of these pigments. Um, this one is obviously not in the packaging. The one I opened okay? is called Blue Brown, and it is literally this, like, blue <laughs> brown, reflective brown. I don't know how else to describe it. And it's super pretty. Um, I really don't want to open it up because I feel like it's going to be messy. It's pigment. Oh, it comes filled to the brim. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. You can see... It's right here. That's sickening. In love with that. Um, I don't really own a whole lot of pigments. I have some pigments from Inglot, but besides that, um, don't really own a lot of pigments. I do just, you know, basic eyeshadow, but after getting minis and seeing how this works, it even looks, like, look how good it looks on my finger. Like, I can't. But after seeing that, like, I'm down to like <laughs> I think I'm a pigment girl now um so I got this other one that's like this champagne gold yeah, type color see this right here so pretty and it's called tan this might actually be really good for the summer Ooh, 
Sheesh. Let's discuss. Oh my god, sick, 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 sick. I don't know why I slept on MAC pigment. And the third one I got so is like this reddish gold. It kind of like honestly reminds me of like, I don't know, like fire kind of. It's a little bottle, but I feel like these would last like forever because I mean with pigment you're not really supposed to use that much. And this is it in the bottle. It's showing up a little more red on camera than it is really in real life. I think that right there is more true to kind of how it looks. swatch it it's freaking beautiful it's this one right here I'm definitely thinking this one is my favorite favorite one because I have a secret love story with copper color anything copper and gold so, so the last yeah. thing that I got from Mac is actually um, an eyeshadow palette it is the warm neutral eyeshadow palette um, it's a little dusty right now because I opened it and used it yesterday because I totally couldn't wait um, I actually ended up having to order this online because they were sold out. But look at this beautiful, beautiful thing, you guys. I'm in love with it. How did I scratch this up already? I've had it for a day. I don't know. This beautiful, beautiful palette with every warm, neutral shade that you will ever need in your entire life. Even though I have every warm neutral shade you would ever need in your entire life already but I have it all in one palette now <laughs> and it's fantastic it's phenomenal it comes in this case this is this would be perfect like the perfect like eyeshadow traveling case because I mean like I have a lot of like little mini palettes that's perfect for travel but I mean this is perfect I wore these um, yesterday when I got ready for my Victoria's Secret fashion show um, party get together thing with my friends and like these were like the most blendable shadows like I know everyone says oh Max doesn't have the best shadows but I don't know like these are some of the best shadows I've tried in a long long time like I'm obsessed with this thing I know I'm gonna be using it a lot and I'm probably gonna be hitting pan on saddle right here within the week because like that type of brown is my favorite brown ever of all time so really really excited about this. Okay, so that was all I got from MAC. The next place I went um, was Bobbi Brown. I only got one thing because, I mean, they only really had this one thing. This is something I I've uh, kind of been dying for for a hot minute. Um, this is actually the Bronze Glow Shimmer Brick. I remember when it came out and it was limited edition and I didn't know that they had made it permanent, but apparently it is permanent now and it is the most, it is like the ultimate gold highlighter like the ultimate out of all the ones that I own bronze gold whatever it's amazing so you just open it up and it looks like this and it has this little plastic on it and you take it off and it is this glowing amazing thing that I don't want to touch because it's so perfect with the little geometric squares in it it literally feels like butter and that highlight is insane insane um i wear this most days at work anyway when i like go in because my counter is right across from the bobby brown counter and so every day when i go into work and i do my makeup i probably use everything on my counter and then i go over there and i jack their highlighter and put it on but it's so great like all right the next place that i only got one thing from was this um little store next to mine called blue mercury um they kind of sell like more high-end mainstream makeup if that makes sense so they have stuff like NARS um, La Mer uh, they carry Mario Badescu uh, Peter Thomas Rob that sort of thing so um, I got one little NARS thing from there and it is actually the highlighting blush powder shocker because how many more highlighters does Jasmine need I don't I don't know but <laughs> I actually got this in the color Albatross, which if you know NARS, it's that like white, why is it a blush blush? But it's like honestly so perfect. It's like, and you're like, what are you going to do with that? And then like you put your finger in it and it looks white, but like when you swatch it on, 
it gives this awesome okay so the next couple of things i got kind of they come from the impulse counter which is where i work and impulse is kind of like sephora but without some of the higher name brands like the ones that i um named at blue mercury so the first thing i want to talk about is this thing called the remover my friend Haley, that works with me at the counter she's actually the counter manager was like swearing by this and it's like i guess supposed to be kind of like the makeup eraser so it's like a terry cloth thing and like you're supposed to just put warm water on it and you just wipe your makeup off and it's supposed to take it off it's kind of supposed to replace your makeup wipes not like clean your face but take your makeup off so i'm really excited to try this because i'm really wondering how this is going to take off my makeup with just hot water and yeah it says it's machine washable and you can use it again and again um the way Haley explained it to me she said it was so big that she could use it to remove some of her makeup like in one spot and then she would use it the next day on another spot and the next day on another spot and basically when she ran out of areas then she would wash it so really cool hoping this kind of saves me some money on um makeup wipes because lord knows i spent a fortune on them a so the next thing I got is the most slept on lip gloss ever. It's it's so slept on. I've never even heard of it. I don't know how because it's amazing. Amazing. So this is the Hula lip gloss from Benefit. I didn't even know that they had lip gloss, to be honest with you, let alone a Hula one. Um, if you know Benefit, you know them for their Hula bronzer. And I've honestly, you know, personally never used it because obviously, like, not for my skin tone but um i do love benefit products and i couldn't believe they had a lip gloss and it smells so good it smells tropical it smells like you are on an island vacation and there is a hot man in two short shorts fanning you with a green leaf and you are sipping from a coconut and you are wearing the teeniest bikini and you have no cares in the world that's what this smells like <laughs> And it looks so pretty. I'm going to put it right here. It's like a shimmery nude. It will look so perfect over any lip liner. And it's literally right there. It's so perfect. And it's moisturizing. Which is like most lip glosses, they're just sticky. They don't really moisturize and like do anything for you. But this one definitely does. And I'm in love with it. Um, I keep it in my purse. Usually I keep my... Kylie Cosmetics like lip gloss in my purse. It's just my nude go-to. Just throw it on lip gloss just for the sake of having having something on my lips. But this is definitely the next thing I picked up on Black it. Friday was this Urban Decay um, uh, eyeshadow primer portion potion. I haven't used this stuff in a long time. I actually haven't used eyeshadow base in a long time. Uh, confessionals makeup confessionals right now I don't use eyeshadow primer a lot I usually just put concealer in my eyes but I've noticed that I'm experiencing like oily lids and like a lot of shadow creasing due to that so I was like maybe I need to go back to priming my eyelids so I picked this up because it was on sale for eight dollars and I was like eight dollars mm, full size you need that so I got this I picked this up um, nothing special. This has been around forever, but I figured I would go back to the OG eye primer. So the next two items them. I didn't necessarily get on Black Friday, um, but um, I did get one at the store and I ordered one online from Macy's.com. And um, it's the coveted and highly sought after master by mario palette and it was so nice that i bought it twice <laughs> um i actually tried the tester in store and i've never tried any anastasia beverly hills eyeshadows until i tried this and let me tell you it was amazing i was like how many more nude neutral eyeshadow palettes do you need and i was like none but then i was like i don't have any anastasia beverly hills shadows and this is what out, what's out and what's popping. And I wasn't really the biggest fan of the Modern Renaissance palette color scheme. Because, I mean, I'm just not. Nothing personal. I'm just. I wasn't going to use those berry tones, like, a lot. But this I would use over and over and over again. So I definitely got it. And it is so, so beautiful. My favorite shades so far are definitely Isabel, Violetta, Fifth Ave, Bronx and Kim like use those definitely all the time 
all the time. They're like some of, these are some of the softest shadows I have ever felt. Um, I'll say that they're softer than MAC. They are. They're so blendable, so pigmented, so true to color when you put them on because that's another thing. I have the biggest issue with shadows being true to color once you put them on. It's like they look one way when they're in the pan and then you get it on your skin and it's a whole different thing. But I knew that this was something that I wasn't going to be able to live without so I definitely had to buy it twice. And I've never bought an eyeshadow palette two times. So I'm so you know it's good. You know it's okay, good. Okay, so the last two things that I got also I did not get on Black Friday, but I'm like really excited about them. So I was talking to you about how I love liquid lipsticks and how I haven't really been buying actual little bullet lipsticks because I love liquid ones so much. Well, my favorite liquid lipsticks right now actually come from Too Faced. And I'd never tried their liquid lipsticks before. And I picked these up. I got the Drop Dead Red, which is this nice deep burgundy like blood red kind of reminds me of lime crime's blood moon that they um, have out right but now but it's so soft and long wearing lasts forever um not not dry at all and it's really really comfortable and i'm in love with this color this formula like it's amazing so definitely has to get that one i wear this one all I've the time i've kind of outgrown honestly. bright red so this type of like red berry color is like perfect for me and then evil twin is like this chocolate like raspberry brown if that like makes any sense like it's so perfect and I love this one this is like the ultimate like vamp color without it being like black it's amazing <laughs> and I love it <laughs> Okay, one more thing from Impulse. Um, I actually got some brushes from Tarte because you can never have too many brushes. I don't believe that you can have too many brushes. And I got um, the Tarte Magnetic Brush Set. Um, I got the last one. Hey! <laughs> I got the last one at our counter. And these brushes are impe impeccable. Like, they're so, so soft. And, like, they do such a good job. Because, I mean, I believe, like... Part of it is the product you use, but part of it is also the tools that you use, and these are fantastic tools. It's $44, and you get um, five brushes, and three of them, or no, yeah, four of them are double-ended, so you get technically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine brushes total to use. It's perfect for travel because it comes in this beautiful little case right here. I'm obsessed. It's so pretty. It's um, all three of my favorite colors. Purple, pre purple, pink, and black. And it locks. Plus it's magnetic on top of blocking. And then when you open it up, you have all your pretty little brushes in here. They're so pretty. They're gold, which I love because it matches my room. And then on this side, it has like this empty spot and it's like magnetic. So like you can just put like your pan eyeshadows in there. I don't own any pan eyeshadows, but when I do, you can put them in here and then they have this little plastic thing that you put over it so you know your eyeshadow like fallout and stuff doesn't touch like the fabric and all of that and doesn't get all over your case and mess it up. And this is like, I feel like the ultimate like travel thing right here. I mean like, how do you beat that? You put your eyeshadows over here and you have brushes in here. You get nine brushes. Like honestly, this is amazing. So. Definitely had to pick this up because I plan to be doing a lot of traveling come 2017. So, okay, so the last um, makeup item that I got from Macy's is actually a set of uh, lip glosses. I've been like way more into gloss and like satin lipsticks lately than I have been into mattes. Um, so, I got this set of Juicy Tubes from Lancome. I don't own anything from Lancome. I've never bought anything from Lancome. I've actually never even so, looked at Lancome. Um, yeah, so I got this little packet. It comes with like four Juicy Tubes lip, lip glosses, basically. And they were on sale for 20 bucks on Black Friday. Can't beat that with So stick, I'm really excited you. to um, play with these and see what these are about. Um, especially being my first time trying Okay, so last two items from Macy's are actually fragrance items. Um, 
The first one um, is a, well, they're both fragrance sets, but this is the first fragrance set. Um, I got this because I've been, like, really getting into, like, smells, like, lately. I usually wear the same perfume all the time, which is Viva Le Juicy or Victoria's Secret Angel Gold. Like, those are my go-to ones. It's either that or, like, some type of Victoria's Secret body spray, but I've been more into, like, perfume perfume as of late. Um... So my favorite right now that I like spray, I like bathe myself in it when I go to work is actually Dahlia Divine by Givenchy. I think I'm saying it correctly, Givenchy. And it smells amazing. It kind of reminds me of another one of my favorite scents. I don't buy it all the time because it's so expensive, but uh, Gucci Guilty, that's what it reminds me of. So I got this set with a little mini one, a little mini Dahlia Divine in it. It smells so amazing. It also has this scent in it called Alien, which I wore at work today, which is amazing. And the name is, like, it rings true to it because it really does smell like Alien. It smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. So, definitely smells great. And then it comes with um, Sexy Amber by Michael Kors, Sig Signorina, Miser Misteriosa, you do parfum? I don't I don't know what that one is. I've never seen or smelled that one, but I'm excited to. My Burberry Black, and then it comes with Jimmy Choo Signature Edu Parfum. And um, I'm really excited, and I love the, that they're a little travel size, because I love to put my fragrances in my purse, and I, um, I never buy roller balls. I don't know why I should, because I like to put my spray in my purse, because I like to smoke it all the time, and when I want to touch it, I Even if I bathe myself it. in it a thousand times, like... I want to be able to do it again so these are great for travel and in your purse so I got this little set and I felt like this would be perfect for me to try so that's what I got fragrances. I've already opened and I've already started that new trying fragrances thing and it is um, this one it's missing this one which is Versace bright crystal that's the one I've been experimenting with this week and so far I love it, it smells so good it smells very adult unlike my Viva La Juicy um, People are always like, oh, Viva Le Juicy, like, that's for teenagers, that's for little girls. And I'm like, let me tell you, don't talk about Viva Le Juicy. <laughs> it's my and then favorite. it also comes with um, Jimmy Choo, just like original Jimmy Choo, like illicit. This one that I can't say the first part, but Omnia Crystalline is the second part. It comes with I Heart Juicy Couture, Donna Karen Cashmere Mist, Capri Vince Camucho, and Versace. Oh, I already told you, Versace Bright Crystal. But it comes with all of these. And yeah, the same thing as the other one. Great for travel, great to experience new fragrances, great for on the go. And I just don't like to smell the same every day because, like, I don't know, every scent is different. I just feel like different day, different scent. So the last you know? and final thing that I got did not come from a Macy's or a Beauty Counter. It came from Marshalls. I've recently noticed on a series of beauty groups that I am in that Marshalls is not to be slept on when it comes to beauty products because they might have something that's in store that you would have never expected for the lowest of the low. I actually got this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Cream Contour Palette for $20. I'm just not $20. over that. I just, I got it for that price. Like, it's just, it's blowing my mind. But, yeah, I, I, I got this, and I'm, I haven't really, I didn't really try cream contour until I got to my counter, and there was one there, so I was like, what the heck? Why not try it? And I love it. I love it so much. I, I've been sleeping on it, obviously. Um, I wish I had not been sleeping on it. I like to do the cream contour now, and then do powder over it to set it down but this thing is amazing and it was at Marshalls and they had all the colors they had like light to medium whatever medium to tan and then they had the deep one like I they had a lot going on for 20 bucks and I just wish that they had had the powder one because I would have picked that one up too but I just thought I would share this with you guys because it was all right guys that was it steal. for my cosmetics Black Friday collective haul. I don't really know what I'm going to name this video because I did talk about Black Friday, but that's just when I got some of this stuff. Some of it's not Black Friday. I don't know. Um, <laughs> obviously, by the time you see this, the video will be named. But uh, thank you for watching. If you want to see, like, I guess, like a tutorial with any of these items, like, comment down below and tell me, I guess, which items you would like to see in a video or in any upcoming 
tutorial um don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there i don't want you to miss any other future awesomeness that will be posted on this channel consistently and don't forget I to follow me on all my social medias i'm really active on instagram twitter and snapchat probably the most active on snapchat so i'll see you guys in my next video bye